Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak 15400OR. This rose gold 41mm automatic Royal Oak can be seen and purchased on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this Royal Oak, with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this automatic 41mm. Royal Oak. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that this is a bit of a bridge model. And I say a bridge model because in 2012 the 41 millimeter Royal Oak debuted and it effectively became a intermediate size or a bridge between the traditional 37 and 39 millimeter Royal Oaks and the bigger 42 millimeter to 44 millimeter Royal Oak offshores. This watch maintains the profile and the delicacy of the Royal Oak while presenting options for those of larger wrist or a taste for larger watches who don't quite want to take the leap to the outlandish offshore. It doesn't suit every temperament. Now you can see 41 millimeters across the wrist. If you are perhaps a more of a traditionalist and you don't want to go offshore, this watch gives you a lot of wrist presence. Now the 41 doesn't include the crown and the timepiece is slim at less than 10 millimeters thick, just slightly less than 10, but it's across the wrist that the watch really shows its colors and its size. 51.5 millimeters from extremity to extremity. That's actually the measurement between the edges of the integrated lugs. Now, if you were to measure from the plots which join the lugs to the strap, these are rigid outcroppings that cause the watch to flare laterally. Now the measurement is a burly 55 millimeters, and that's why this watch has tremendous wrist presence and really belies its size at 41. It wears larger, it looks larger, and entirely in rose gold, it has a lot of heft. It feels like a large, heavy, substantial timepiece. So while more discreet than an offshore, nevertheless, you do feel you have a tremendous amount of timepiece heft and premium precious metal pulling at your wrist, and it's a delightful feeling because the watch is paired with an equally substantial single-fold deployant AP logo inset and fully polished clasp. The finish on the clasp is to the same standard as the case, the bezel, and the dial, which is to say immaculate. It's also a weighty counterpoint to the hefty case assembly, and if you like to wear your watch is loose, this one doesn't have as much of a tendency to travel because the watch head and the clasp nicely counterbalance. You'll also know AP cuts no corners. As ever, the strap is attached with screws, not spring bars. You'll also note that even though you're not getting a bracelet here, this watch has a more casual look than a traditional full bracelet Royal Oak. Audemars Piguet does not skimp on the metallurgy. Note the gorgeous hand-laid tapered bevel along the flank of the case. The contrast between brushed or satin finished components and polished components. Note the ever so slight recess of the polished white gold bezel bolts inside the satin finished octagonal Royal Oak porthole style bezel. and. Little details truly set this watch apart, like the bright polished inner bezel that reflects all of the indices as well as the edge of the tapisserie cut of the dial itself. This watch is beautifully conceived and executed at the same level. You'll also note that it's an easy watch to read. The combination of rose gold applied and polished our indices, each one with a small amount of luminescent material against a silver tapisserie background, makes for high contrast, and yes, you can see this one fairly easily in low light. It has enough super luminova for that purpose, so it does serve its purpose as a sports watch. There's a discrete date window at 3 o'clock, and of course the crown, in traditional faceted fashion, makes its appearance on the flank of the case. Because of the bright polish and staggering richness of the rose gold. The traditional minimally expressed bezel gasket of the Royal Oak makes itself notice more on this one. Again, another reason why I call this a bridge reference between the traditional Royal Oaks and the offshore, that modularity, the expression of the parts of the case as individual members, is quite evident in this watch. And it continues when you turn the watch over and realize that just like the latest offshores, this watch has a display case back. Now the display case back reveals the 40 joule in-house Audemars Piguet caliber 3120. You can see the winding mass blazing with the coat of arms of each of the founding families 
mounted on ceramic rotor bearings, unlubricated. AP made a deliberate decision with this watch that bucks the trend throughout most of the industry. Rather than going with a more efficient winding unidirectional system, they said with the ceramic bearings and a high moment of inertia, we're going to get enough winding efficiency. We want it to be a bi-directional winder the way Rolex does because it's smoother on the wrist and it feels more refined. And that philosophy is evident throughout this movement. You'll also note a robust balance assembly dual anchored with a bridge Rolex style once again and free sprung with a gyromax style balance. It is highly resistant to shock and vibration induced timing deviation. Don't wear this one mountain biking, but the bottom line is this is a movement that was also designed with the offshore in mind and this bridge reference, which as I say, sort of bridges between the old school Royal Oaks and the offshore, has the same beating heart of Audemars Piguet's sports champion. Now the finish is everything you would expect, the highest standards of the Valet de Jeu. You can see linear Cote de Genève across the bridges. You can see polished screw heads. There's beautiful mirrored anglage at the edge of every bridge. I'll try to capture that as well as within the jewel sinks. And the screw sinks, you'll note, all screw heads are polished. All of their slots are chamfered. And it has a robust 55 to 60 hours of power reserve when fully wound, as well as the refinements you expect in any modern movement. The in-house caliber featuring both hacking seconds, so you pull the crown, you stop the balance, and synchronize the watch to a reference time, as well as a quick set date that you can rapidly cycle should the watch run down. You can see and you can purchase this Audemars Piguet Royal Oak 15400OR 41mm in rose gold on our website.